Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about Mixed Data Sampling Regression Model in eViews, also known as MIDAS. The availability of data sampled at different frequency always presents a dilemma for a researcher working with time series data. On the one hand, the variables that are available at high frequency contains potentially valuable information. On the other hand, the researcher cannot use this high frequency information directly if some of the variables are available at low frequency. Because most time series regressions involve data sample at same interval. For example, if we talk about any researcher, he must be collecting the data, especially for the time series, and he would be he or she would be considering three or four variables. Now it is quite likely plausible that one of the series is it is monthly, the second one is annually, and the third one is daily. Now to comprehend all this series and to run the normal OLS is not possible. The common solution in such cases is to pre-filter the data so that the left hand side and the right hand side variables are available at the same frequency. In this process, a lot of potentially useful information might be discarded because we want to bring all the series on the same level. Either we will convert the daily into monthly or the daily will be converted into annually. By doing this, we are losing very valuable sources of information. Thus, rendering the relationship between the variables difficult to detect. As an alternative, guys, Santa Clara and Valkanov have recently proposed regressions that directly accommodate the variable sample at different frequency. And this is known as Midas regression. How we will do this in eViews? Let's see. Now, we will have to go in the environment of eViews. You will click on File, New, Work File. A window will appear and it will ask the details of it. Basically, before entering anything here, let us see our data. I will be considering here GDP quarterly data. You can see here the GDP has been captured quarterly. And the second data is captured nifty, it is a monthly data. Now, first of all, I will define that this page for Nifty and therefore I will change this to the monthly because Nifty has been captured monthly. So I will specify here the 01 to 01 2011 to 01 205 2011. It is always necessary to give the name to this page. Why? Because while running the command, we'll have to give the reference of this page and therefore we will give the name as nifty, which is monthly. Click OK. You can see here, the eViews has generated the range, but it does not contain any data at present. Now to bring the data set here, what you will do is simply First of all, I'll close this, make sure that all the files are closed. I'll minimize this window. And simply, I'll drag this and drop it here. A new window will pop up, which is basically the wizard, the data extraction wizard. I'll click on next, 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 and finish. I'll press no. It will ask me that, that there is a difference in the specification which is given in the actual data. You want to resize the data? I'll say yes. And you can see here, the Nifty 50 data which was there in Excel sheet has been imported to eViews. This is the monthly data. Now I will have to go for another uh, importing the other data, which is GDP data. So first of all, I will have to go here on the new page. Why I have to go on the new page? Because this window is a is this particular page is calibrated for monthly data. Now all those datas which are similar, the observations have been taken on similar 
with Nifty. You can bring it here. So the next on the next page, I'll click on specify. Make sure it's a new page. Specify by frequency and range. Again, the same window will pop up. And here I'll have to specify that the frequency is quarterly. So 2011 to Q1, 2022 to Q2, I'll say it is Q3. Make sure that the start date and end date of, of all the variables should match. I again repeat, the start date and the end date of all the variables should match with each other. Now I'll name this page as GDP quarter. Click OK. A new page will be created. But we know that it does not contain any data at present. So I'll go in GDP quarterly and I'll just drag it and drop it. Make sure that you drop this in GDP quarter only because it is a quarterly data. Don't do the mistake of importing in Nifty monthly. Again, the same pop-up window will appear. I'll press next, 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 and finish. It is giving me a warning, incomplete data specification. No need to worry. I'll specify here that it is starting from 2011. Finish. No. And you can see the GDP data, which is quarterly, has been import, successfully imported into the environment of EVUs. Now we have to run the regression. The next step which we have to take is normalizing the series. We can normalize a series. And the command which I'm using is series DGDP is equal to at the rate d log at the rate gdp asterisk 100. We are writing at the rate so that the relevant series is generated in its own page. Here, I again repeat, at the rate is written so that the series is generated on the relevant page. The command which I have written here is series dgdp is equal to at the rate d log into the bracket gdp asterisk 100. We will repeat the same step for nifty month and i'll write here series t nifty 50 equal to at the rate d log d log nifty 50 asterisk 100 you can see here the two new series have been have been you can see two new series have been produced we are using d log it is mean it means that first it took the log of the series and then the first difference of the log was taken now whichever variable you want to make it dependent activate that window the variable which you want to make dependent activate its window. Now go in quick, estimate the equation. So I'll write down here as DGDP. The new series which is generated is the constant is considered here is dependent on its own lag minus one. I'm considering DGDP minus one. And now I will consider that it is also affected by the nifty so first of all i will have to write the name of the page that the variable nifty 50 is on which page so here nifty month is written so nifty month asterisk sorry not asterisk slash the slash should be this way not this way okay be very specific now i will take the variable i'll consider the variable here nifty 50. if i want to consider one lakh of it I'll write down here minus one and click ok and you can see here the results are ready so the p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore the nifty is not affecting in the normal equation this is normal ols Still, we have not run MIDAS, okay?
This is normal OLS which we are running. The next step is to save this equation. So I'll go in name and it will be saved as equation one. Click OK. You can see that the equation one has been saved. Now I again go back on quick, estimate the equation, and this time I activate the Midas regression. Again, I'll specify here DGDP C, DGDP minus one. Make sure that this time the another variable which has to be brought from another page, you will have you will not write in the upper window, you will write in the lower window. So I'll specify here nifty month nifty fifty minus one. So how many legs of nifty minus one are to be included? You specify from here. You will just click on OK and you will get the result. So this is the second equation which you got. Again, I'll go in name. I'll say, save it as equation two. Click OK. So I will close this window also, this window also. Again, I'll go back in quick estimate equation. And this time I will specify Midas regression will be activated again. Again, I'll write down DGDP C, DGDP minus one. The reference of the page Nifty month, Nifty 50 minus one. This time we will have, we will take one more option which will activate from here. We will go here and activate the step. Step three, three steps, coefficient is C, and I'll click OK. So again, you will get the new result. At present, we are going on making the equation. Why? I will explain later on. Again, save this name, equation three, click OK. So you can see one, two, three equations are saved. Now, again, I'll go in estimate. And this time, I'll make some changes here. I'll say activate the beta. So I'll, have, I'll be having a range of options. Keep the default settings as it is and click OK. So I'll get another sets of reason. I'll name it as equation. Uh, rather going from here, we we'll have to go from, why don't we go from quick estimate equation, Midas, DGDP, C, DGDP minus one. Here I'll specify nifty month nifty 50 minus 1 options i'll make this as beta i think there are no other ticks which we have to consider and i'll click okay so i'm getting same set of results it's okay so name i'll name this as equation 4 click okay so i'm having four sets of equation now Now you can see here this equation 4 does not have any probabilities value and therefore we will not consider equation 4 for further analysis. Now what we will do? We will activate the DGDP, the difference series, which we wanted to predict. I'll maximize this. I'll go in prop file and forecasting average. Activate the forecasting average. Now, all those equations which we have saved, you can write down here equation 01, equation 02, equation 03. 
equation four we are not considering because the estimates were not significant. Now here we'll specify the time period for which we want to do the forecasting. At present, it is showing the entire time period. So I'll say, please do the forecasting from 2021 first quarter to 2022 third quarter. Click OK. A new series will be generated that is a DGDPF. Here it is, DGDPF, the forecasted series. Now this blue one is your original time series. And you can see that with the help of equation one, which was normal OLS, you can see here this is normal OLS. There was a quite difference between the actual and predicted values. But after using the Midas regression, your forecasting is going very closer to the actual values. And this is a way you can deploy the Midas regression. For more videos on econometrics, you can see my playlist, you can subscribe to my channel, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.